Since I was young, I was, I've been a pretty wild kid, and nobody could tell me what to do, and got me locked up, and spent a couple years in prison for hot checks. I was into drugs there for a while, pretty bad alcoholic for a while. I had to learn how to grow up. That I was just plain stupid. What I wanted, I wanted. Heck, gave it all up and started doing things right. And I guess uh, people recognize that after a while. They start, yeah, built a little bit of integrity. And, Cause I knew a lot of a lot of the homeless down there, and I kind of organized them so we could do cleanups. And I was out picking up cans and stuff one day, and I run into Captain Wilson of the police department, and he asked me if anybody was interested in uh, being a watchman out here. And I said, I, I said right here. And he says, Well, we'll be back in touch with you. We'll see if we can get you some kind of trailer out there. And they did. Here I am. <laughs> there was quite a bit of vandalism. A lot of headstones were broke and it's terrible out here. And I don't understand why that was done. But I hope it helps somebody else out there. And, and you know, the cities too, you know, the, the budget's down. They can't hire anybody for some of these places that need security. There's, there's homeless out there. There's some out there that are uh, trustworthy. All kinds of places uh, uh, that they could do this kind of thing, not just at cemeteries. If the city can't, can't pay for it and they can come up with a little shelter like this uh, trailer I have, you know, a deal like I got, shoot, I encourage it because uh, that's all a lot of these people need to just turn their life around. My heart is in helping others get a second chance like I've been given a second chance.